Oh, hi everyone. It's Mr. Twig and it's time for our, our daily maths. In our lesson today, we're going to be drawing together our learning on shape and sorting. Okay. Now, the one thing that you will need today is your brain. So, uh, you've got one of those somewhere. I think mine's in here somewhere. Yeah, I've got my brain. That's all you need. I've got mine. You need yours. We all will need our brain. Okay, to warm our brains up, we're going to use the picture that you can see, and we're going to play I Spy. And this is how it's going to work. It's slightly different, but I think you'll get it soon. I'll have the first two go. So I Spy with my little eye, two redfish. Can you see two redfish? Good. Okay, I'll have another go. I spy with my little eye four white houses. Can you see them? Good. Okay, right. Have a go yourselves now with your adult. Um, there's loads of different things in the picture that we can uh, play I spy for the numbers of. Have a look now, pause the video, have fun, and um, if you haven't lost the will to live, then we'll come back and do the main part of the lesson. So see you in a minute, guys. So now I'm going to see if I can find our uh, um, friend, Miss Molnar. So... Let's see if she says something. Miss Molna, Miss Molna, are you there? I think I heard something. In the, something are you there? All right, yeah, she's 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 um she's just she's just waved at me. Things are in the picture. So hmm, let me see. I'm gonna start looking at the frogs. Do you see all of those colours of frogs? There's quite a few of them. So. I would like you to tell me what colour frog is in between the pink frog and the green frog? Which frog is in between the pink frog and the green frog? See if you can find it. If you said the orange frog, well done. Way to go, friends. All right, let me see what else we can do here. Let's keep looking at those frogs. All right, which color frog is behind the green frog? Which colored frog is behind the green frog? Now there might be more than one answer here. Have a look. Well, if you said the yellow frog or the purple frog, you're right because both of them are behind the green frog. All right. Let's take a look now at the spiders in the spider web. Do you see them up on the top of the house? Yeah. Well done. All right. Which color spider is beside the orange spider? Which color spider is beside the orange spider? That's right, it's the blue spider. Fantastic. All right, I would like you to describe for me where the fish are. How could you describe for me where the fish are? If you said the fish are in the water or in the river, you're right. You also might have said the fish, the fish are under the bridge. Way to go, everyone. All right, let's play another game. Have you ever played the game Guess Who before? Well, you might have played it a different way, but we're going to play Guess Who as in Guess the Shape. So Harold is going to have a think in his head. Do you see the three shapes up on the screen? Harold is going to choose one of them. He's going to have a think in his head. He's going to picture one of those shapes in his head. And he's going to describe it to you. And we want you to point to the one that you think he's speaking about. Okay. Are we ready, everyone? All right. Harold says, I have a curved surface and two flat faces. Hmm, who am I? Which 
shape do you think Harold's talking about? It has a curved surface and two flat faces. Well done, if you pointed to the cylinder at the bottom, you're so right. It's got a curved surface around it and then it's got two flat faces. Way to go. All right, now there's two more shapes up there. Harold's gonna have another pick again. And he's going to describe it to us. Are we ready? All right, this time. Okay, this shape has no vertices and no flat faces. This shape has no vertices and no flat faces. Point to the shape you think it is. If you pointed to the red sphere, well done, you're so right. All right, what we would like you to do is to pause the video for a second and can you describe the last shape? What could you say about its edges or vertices, its surfaces? What could you say about it to describe it? Well done, everyone. So you might have said this cuboid has, you might say it has several vertices. You also might have said it has all flat faces. You might have said it has no curved surfaces. Way to go everyone, great describing. Okay, we've got a bit of a challenge for you for your talk task today. So, we can see all of the shapes up on the top of the screen uncovered. Now, we've got each of those shapes mixed up at the bottom, but we've got some green boxes covering them up. So, what we would like you to do is use your reasoning and explaining skills to make a good guess at which shape is hiding under each of the red boxes. Okay, so if you start with the first one, you might say, I think this shape is the cone. You might look at the top and point to the shape that you think it might be because I can see it's got a curved surface and a flat face. You might also say, oh, but this actually looks like a cylinder because it's got a curved surface and a flat face. It could also be that shape. So we want you to pause the video, take a look at each of the covered up shapes below. Can you try and match them with whatever shape you think it matches to, to the top? And make sure you say out loud, why? What's your thinking behind choosing that shape? All right, pause the video and we'll come back together. Good luck, guys. All right, everyone, shall we go through what we found out about each of the shapes? Let's start with the first one. Which shape did you think it was? Point to the shape that you think it was. Well done. If you picked the cylinder, way to go. I thought at first it might have been the cone. It tricked me a little bit. We could have said it was a cylinder because it's got a, surf a curved surface and it's got a flat face. All right, what about this one now? Was this one a little bit trickier? Did you think it could have been more than one shape? Well, it looks to me like it could be a cuboid or a cube because they both have flat surfaces and they both have lots of vertices. But I can see a little bit of a clue in the corner. I can see in the very corner of the shape that it looks like it's a much shorter shape. So that tells me it must be the cube. All right, moving on, looking at the shape next. We've definitely got some curved surfaces here. Can you point to the shape that you think it belongs to? If you pointed to the sphere, well done. Way to go, friends. All right, moving on. We've already got, we know we've already got the cube void, so, or we already know that we've got the cube. So that means this shape must be a bit longer and it must be the cuboid. Way to go. And then finally, this one was a bit tricky because it was turned on its side. We've got the cone, but it was just facing the other way. Well done, everyone. Okay, it's time to get a bit tricky in our main task, everyone. We've got a spot the mistake. So Harold 
has been sorting some 3D shapes. He sorted them in this diagram from shapes that have at least one curved surface and shapes that have at least one flat face. So the ones that have at least one flat face will go in this side. So the ones that have at least one flat face are going to go on the right side. The shapes that have at least one curved surface are going to go on the left side. Now, there's also a shape in the middle. Do you see that the two circles they join up? That means it's been sorted that that shape has both a flat face and a curved surface. So we want you to have a little bit of a look and make sure that all of the shapes are in the right spot. Okay, so you're going to pause the video. I know all that. You can go find this sheet in the worksheet and have a really close look. And if you see a mistake, you need to tell us why it's a mistake. All right, pause the video and come back and we'll discuss it when we're ready. Okay, well, don't worry about any downloads. I guess all of you can see what we're doing. Um, there's two sorting circles, a thing in the middle needs to be in both groups. The picture you're looking at has got the shapes wrong, so talk about it with your children. If you've got any of these shapes at home, you can physically have a go at sorting. It's quite nice to let your children know that some things can be in two groups. Okay, um, good luck with it. Enjoy your learning, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.